Hey guys, good morning. I'm out at the house. And the um, we had an alarm go off. So the alarm company called and they said, do you want to dispatch police? And I'm like, no, we'll go check. So we came and checked because I thought it might be one of the workers because not everybody knows we had the alarm on. So sure enough, it was the um, carpet guys. So um, they are doing the carpet and I just asked about the seam and I learned in Spanish how to say that. I think it's, donde estas la poniendo, um, la poniendo, para, para son? I, I forget the word they use. When I looked it up, it said costura, I think. But I think that's like if you're doing a seam in a like a piece of clothing or something. Um, anyway, <laughs> who cares? But yeah, I don't have any makeup on. And I'm actually in my, you can't really see, but I'm in my pajamas and I've got boot, <laughs> my boots, my pajamas tucked into my boots because I'm like, I need to get over there quickly. Because if there was like a, somebody doing something, then I would have just called 911. The police station's just a couple blocks over. We're not far at all. So, um, they're putting in carpet today. A little bit, little bit better, maybe. So, um, now I'm going to get a cho hot chocolate from Starbucks, and I'm wearing my Longhorn jacket because it's super cold outside still. And, oh, let's lighten up here. Here we go. Um, also, I told you I was going to try to be work by 8. It's clearly almost 9 o'clock. Well, it's not clearly to you, but it's clearly to me that it's almost 9 o'clock. Um, but because of the alarm thing situation, that's my excuse for today. Otherwise, I really would have been closer to getting to work by 8.15. But it's either here or there. We're here now, so let's get some hot chocolate. I'm home. It's late. It's almost 7 o'clock. And um, because of house stuff, and getting stuff done with the house. I got behind on stuff at work. So I had to stay later. Marvin's come out to help me with my bags, but I have them all on my shoulders, so I'm good. Here's my awesome husband. He's gonna help carry stuff in. Thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. You're the best. <laughs> There's no couch inside, so now I'm gonna have to go to the bedroom and set up camp there, and then I stay up late, and then that's probably disturbing my husband from getting good sleep, but it's a little bit longer. Few more days. Let's see. Today's Tuesday, so Tuesday night, Wednesday night, two, maybe three more sleeps, and we'll be in the new house. So we can do it. Put our back into it. So I am not going to vlog anymore. This was short and sweet and to the point. Stuff happened. I can go over it in a little bit, and then I'll end the vlog. So give me just a second to change my clothes. Hey everyone, it is later. We have been listening to our city council meeting because they do a live taping of it. I also have my um, Invisalign. And anyway, they do a taping, a live um, broadcast of it. They live stream it or whatever. And we didn't watch it last night and it went late and there was some back and forth. So we watched it tonight. Marvin's still watching it. But I'm about to list this TV for sale. So if you're in the area, I'm gonna list it for sale. <laughs> Hope I sell it fast. And I've got a busy day tomorrow, and it's like already 11 o'clock and I'm still not in bed. Oh. And I got up this morning. I don't know if I told you guys, but I was having allergies this morning. I got sneezing and I thought, oh, let me just get up, take a shower, like rinse off and wash my hair and then I'll just lay back down for a few hours. Well, I didn't go back to sleep right away, of course. I mean, because who does that? And then um, Socks, when he gets hungry, he starts like nibbling on my ear. So I'm like, okay, so I got up and it was only like six something. Anyway, then we had the false alarm that I had to go and check out and it was a false alarm. And then I came back and got ready for work and I'm just, I'm tired super tired but i had things to do so i couldn't just like stop and go to bed and i even stayed late at work oh i just forgot i need to do another email <sighs> forgot an email so great <laughs> and tomorrow morning we're doing refrigerator from seven to nine and we are doing um 
wash and dryer from 10 to 12, I think. And something else is happening tomorrow, but I already forgot. Try to write it down because I'm like, there's just so much going on. Um, but it's the last week and I've got appraisal tomorrow. Don't know what time, don't know who's showing up or anything because they haven't called or texted or emailed me that I'm aware of. So I'm not sure 100% that that's going to happen tomorrow, but I hope it does. But I'm also nervous, y'all. I know you're not going to see this until after it's already done and I'll just be already be like, yes, thank you God for the great appraisal. But if you sense that I'm asking you this in the, in the future, like, and then you go back, oh my gosh, I like sensed she needed some like extra prayers, extra good thoughts, like extra good vibes, all the light and love. Um, yeah, I want a good appraisal to He's not supposed to be up there. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey. Hey, you. Hey. Clearly, he's frightened of me and what I can do. Get down. Get down. No, down. Down. No, down. What do I, I mean, you're not supposed to be up there. They've already finished their food. They're down to one can of cat food, so I've got to go tomorrow. Let me see how much cat food they have, see if I can feed them again tonight. They have dry, they have kibbles, so they're not gonna die. They have two cans of cat food, so Give them one in the morning, and then I'm gonna go to get them more cat food, so they won't die on me. And they have they have dry food; they're fine. But anyway, so that's what I'm gonna do. I've got a busy day tomorrow. I'm gonna go to bed now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for being patient with me. And I know I'm still not posting, but once I start posting, thank you for being patient, and thanks for being here. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.